Facebook, Instagram. Um, I wanted to talk about something today. Don't mind my head wrap or whatever. I just got finished doing my client. I got going to another job and I need my sides together. And I didn't want to wet my hair and sit in the dryer and all that good stuff. But I'll take that off later. But it came to my attention that I've had a couple of clients talk to me about things going on with their hair or things to do with their hair that is not true that they found on YouTube. I do YouTube. I watch YouTube stuff to learn some things and stuff like that. But everything that's on YouTube is not the truth. Like for real. It's not the truth. Um, for example, co-wash. This old little era of co-washing your hair, exit out. Co-washing is ridiculous. Co-washing makes no sense. I don't understand how where it came from, how it got to be where it is, but co-washing does not make any sense for anyone who cares about their hair, period. There's no such thing like co-washing. You cannot, co-washing is conditioner supposedly washing your hair. Conditioner cannot wash your hair or rather shampoo your hair. Conditioner is just what it is. Conditioner. It conditions. It conditions your hair. It conditions your scalp. It conditions. Co-washing cannot clean your hair. I don't know who's telling people this and why they are telling people this. It cannot. Do not co-wash your hair. Black ethnic people cannot co-wash their hair. We have sebaceous glands that we tend to have oily skin. So you tend to have oily scalps. You get a lot of your hair weighs down because it's dirty, it debris, um, bacteria, all type of stuff, dandruff, everything that you got going on in your daily routine that you encounter happens in your hair or even on your body for that matter. So when it's time for you to shampoo your hair, you need a shampoo that is going to cleanse your hair. It's going to strip. It's supposed to strip all that dirt off your hair and scalp. Like, how do you expect for your hair to get clean? Imagine you got all that dirt oil for one whole week that you've been riding around doing whatever you're doing, combing on top of, brushing on top of, curling on top of, putting more product on top of your hair and all that type of stuff. And you say okay it's saturday i don't want to wash i don't want to shampoo my hair but i'm gonna co-wash it so now your hair is caked up with dirt dandruff oils everything grease product all type of stuff and you tell me you're gonna go wet your hair take some conditioner and put it on your head and think you finna shampoo and clean it and then rinse it off and it's supposed to be great absolutely not how does it that sounds ridiculous you have to strip all of that dirt all that oil all that dandruff all that stuff off your hair in order for the conditioner to get into your pores into your scalp in order to condition your hair if you wonder why your hair is not um not growing if you wonder why your hair is tangled all the time or it smells that's why because the people who co-wash you're co-washing there's no such thing as a co-wash that makes no sense that's like somebody, a construction worker, coming off from work, working outside in mud, in dirt. He musty, she musty, he's sweating, hair sweating, everything. And you mean to tell me that they're going to go jump in the shower and just run hot water on themselves and then get out and say, I'm clean because I done co-washed my body. Do you know how stupid that sounds? That's the same thing as what happens when you're doing your hair. You cannot put conditioner on top of dirt and then think that your hair is going to grow or think that you're going to condition your hair. You're not conditioning anything. You're wasting money from buying co-washing products and you're wasting conditioner and you're wasting your time because it's not doing anything. You have to strip your hair. You have to strip your hair from all type of dirt and everything to cleanse it. Then you put the conditioner on there to recondition, to condition the hair. That's exactly what the conditioner does. It's supposed to condition. You cannot put conditioner on closed pores and think that your hair is going to grow. You, well, you're not letting anything into your scalp, so you wonder why your scalp is so dry all the time. That's why. You wonder why you got dandruff so bad. That's why. Because you're not moisturizing your scalp 
please stop listening to everything that is on YouTube and listening to these people who making these money off of this little co-wash crap because it is not real. And then you wonder why you calling your stylist or you going to a stylist and she charging or he charging you this X amount of money because your hair is breaking up because you so-called damn co-washing your freaking hair. Stop doing that, please. I, that was just on my mind and I needed to say that because people out here are being mis mis um misconstrued with this type of stuff and, and they leading people on to these uh different ideas or this little new technique and that's not a technique that's not a technique at all and us stylists who are really about health of the hair and really know what's going on and how to treat your hair and giving you knowledge and information about it listen because it's, it's making our job harder because you don't want to listen and then when we charge you what, I, what we charge you or tell you what you need to do you think we don't know what we're talking about or you think we're trying to get over on you no we're trying to teach you and educate you on some things that you need to know about your hair if you want some healthy hair another thing i'll get to that um on my next one but yeah please stop co-washing co-washing does not make sense it doesn't it doesn't you can't eat your you can't eat on a plate or food and then you made a mess on your food and you scrape your food and put it in the trash and then you run hot water over it and then you hang it up and put it in the rack and you say it's clean that's the, it's basically what you're doing with your hair that's basically what you're saying that's not clean you have to use soap you have to use some type of shampoo you have to use a cleansing shampoo a clarifying shampoo that's what they're for that's what they made for to strip and clean your hair then you go back and put conditioner in it then you go back to you strip it and everything when you strip your hair it's squeaky clean it's supposed to be squeaky clean because you're cleaning it then you go back and put your conditioner you go back and use your moisturizing shampoo on your hair that's your second or third shampoo to replenish what you have taken out and what you stripped every time you get your hair done you should have three shampoos your first shampoo should be a cleansing shampoo lathering shampoo if you shampoo your hair one time and it doesn't lather that means your hair is dirty so then you have to go and do it again so two times it should take to cleanse your hair unless you just got like a whole bunch of oils and thick oils and products and stuff on it it should only take two times after those two times you go back with the third shampoo which is a moisturizing shampoo a hydrating shampoo anything that's gonna replenish what you have just taken and stripped out your hair after that you condition condition you either let your conditioner sit on from five to five to ten minutes or if you need a deep conditioner that's 15 to 25 minutes under a hydrator or a dryer period period I just wanted to share that and I will post another thing that I want to talk about but that it was something that was just really irking me and I really needed to share that with you all stylists if you're doing co-washing or you telling your clients to co-wash please stop doing that this stuff that we learn in basic one-on-one -on -one cosmetology school all right see you later you keep signing out peace